Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when audio is not working with Tomb Raider remastered game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game. If this is on, turn it off and then launch the game and then check the sound. Next step is to select 16 bit 44 100 hertz in sound control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to hardware and sound and then click on sound over here. Now select your speaker over here. Make sure that you select your speaker and then make a right click then select properties and then go to advanced option uh, tab and then over here select 60 bit 44 100 hertz and then click on apply click on OK. Now launch the game and then check the sound. Still you are facing the problem. If you have any kind of equalizer like APO equalizer or voice meter disable it and then launch the game and then check still the sound is not working please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to press windows plus g on the keyboard so press windows plus g it will open xbox game bar now on the top over here you can see speaker icon click on it and then over here you can see audio and over here select the right audio device so click on this down arrow and make sure that you select the device the speaker which you want to use now also scroll down and if you find the game in the list over here make sure the volume is set to maximum and then go to voice now over here also make sure that you select the right audio device and scroll down here you can see speaker communication output again select the right audio de device in my case it's real tech audio so whichever headphone or speaker you're using make sure that you select that particular device over here now after this launch the game and then check now the next step is to select the right audio device in sound settings. Now on the bottom right over here you can see the speaker icon click on it and over here you will see sound volume bar. Now click on this icon if you see this click on it and then make sure here also you select the right audio device whichever audio device which you want to use which, whichever speaker you want to use. Now scroll down again make sure the volume is set to maximum for the game. Now you can make a right click on the speaker icon over here and then click on open sound settings click on sound settings and over here also you can make sure that it is set to right speaker make sure that you select the right speaker over here and make sure when you go to volume mixture over here make sure the volume for uh, game is set to maximum and then launch the game and then check next step is to restart the game so if the game is running close the game and then launch the game once again if that does not work restart a computer make sure that you restart a computer and after the system restart again select the right audio device from here make sure that you select the right audio device and then the next step is to set sound sample rate to 48 or 44 hertz 1000 hertz in sound control panel so to open sound control panel type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now over here you can see hardware and sound click on it now click on sound over here and this will open sound control panel now over here make sure that you select the right speaker so you can if this this is set to something else you can select your right speaker and you can set as default in my case this is already default now make a right click on on your speaker and then click on properties and then go to advanced now over here you can select 40 48,000 hertz, 24 bit or 16 bit, or you can select 44,100 hertz or 44,100 for 60, 16 bit. So you can try 48 or 44 and then apply the settings. So I will select 24 and then apply. And you can also check, uh, you can uncheck allow hardware acceleration of audio with this device if this is checked you can try to uncheck it and then check if that does not work you can enable or disable audio en enhancement so you can put a check uncheck it and check which one is working fine for you so make sure that you select 48 or 44 thousand hertz in sound control panel for your speaker and then then still you're facing the problem then if you are playing with controller in that case disconnect the controller and then start the game so launch the game after you disconnect the controller and then once the game is up and running once the, you can hear the sound now you can connect the controller once sound is established and then check
Now the next step is to turn off spatial sound. Again, make a right click on the speaker and then click on sound settings. Or you can simply type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, hardware and sound, click on, so click on sound over here. Now in sound control panel, select your speaker and then make a right click, then select properties and go to spatial sound and turn this off. And then click on apply, click on OK. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to disable, if you have any other audio device enabled in uh, playback, you have to disable that device. So open sound control panel once again. Again, make a right click, uh, sorry, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to hardware and sound. Again, click on sound. And then over here, here you can see I have so many audio device. So make sure that you enable the speaker only, uh, only enable that speaker which you want to use. Like for me, it's Realtek audio which I'm using right now. So if you want to use whichever device you want to use, just make sure that only that is enabled, rest you can disable. So in my case here, you can see headphones, a coolness virtual audio device. So if you have this, make a right click and then disable it. I'm not going to use it, so I will disable. Headphones, I'm not using, so I will disable it. Now voice meter, if you have any other audio device, if you're not using it, then you can disable it. So only enable the device, audio device, which you want to use. I don't want to use NVIDIA output. I will disable it. So make sure that only the device which is which you are using is enabled. And now do the same thing in device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager to open device manager. Expand sound, video and game controllers over here. And then you have to select the audio which you which you want to use. So only make sure only that audio device is enabled. In my case, it's Realtek. So whichever headphones, speaker, external ex speaker, whichever you are using, you can enable that and rest you can disable it. So I'm not going to use this uh, voice meter. I will go ahead and disable it. Click on yes. I'm not going to use Aculus. I will make a right click and then disable it. Yes. I'm not going to use Nvidia. I will disable it. So you can disable all the speaker over here, which you're not using. And make sure only that speaker is enabled, which you want to use. And then now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to uncheck hands-free telephony. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this and then type in run in Windows search box and then click on run and then paste the command over here and then click on OK. Now over here, you have to select your speaker. So whichever speaker you're using, you have to select that speaker over here. So in my case, I don't have any external speaker over here. So I'll show you. Now, once you have your speaker connected, in my case, it's eyeball. So you can select your speaker over here and then make a right click and then click on properties. And then go to the services tab. Now over here you can see hands-free telephony. You have to uncheck this box. Now once you uncheck it, now click on apply. Click on OK. And then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to disconnect external microphone connected to the computer. So if you have any kind of external microphone, if you're not using microphone in the game, then you can disconnect the external microphone. Um, if you have connected any external microphone, you can also disable internal microphone. You can disable the microphone in, even in the uh, control panel, sound control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search box. Only if you're not going to use the microphone. If you're using the microphone, you don't have to do this. So go to sound once again over here. And then you can go to the go to the uh, recording tab over here. And if you're not using microphone, you can make a right click, then click on disable it. Now after disable, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to install audio driver. To install audio driver, uh, make a right click on the start menu, then open device manager, and then expand sound, video, and game controllers. Select your audio device. In my case, it's Realtek. You can make a right click, then click on update driver. 
and then click on search automatically for drivers it will tell you to search for driver in windows update click on it if there is any update let the update complete restart your computer and then launch the game and then check still you're facing the problem make a right click and then click on uh, update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer so when you make a right click over here you can see different drivers over here now here you might see high definition audio device high definition audio driver something like that you can select that and then click on next install it or if you see realtek realtek over here you can select another one you can try different drivers over here so select different drivers over here and then click on next install it and then restart your computer and then check now the last step is to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties install files tab verify integrity of game files once done launch the game and then check the sound so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the audio working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel